Hey, a friend, Chris here from MyLogicProRules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. You know, not too long ago, I was on a Zoom call with another Logic user. And this user said to me, Chris, you know, I wish I could change the sound of the metronome in Logic Pro completely. I don't care for it. It sounds dated. It sounds hokey to me. I wish I could make it a cowbell or a ride cymbal or just anything else. And honestly, this had never crossed my thoughts. I just thought, when I need a metronome, I need something that clicks. It clicks, I'm happy. But if you feel similar, if you wish you could change the sound of this metronome completely, you can. It's an instrument in Logic Pro, just like any other software instrument. So let's dig into it right now. So I think most of us are pretty familiar with the metronome in Logic Pro. I'm gonna press K on my Mac's keyboard to turn the metronome on or off. But of course you can go up to the control bar to do exactly the same. I have a little riff on screen that I was playing around with in Logic Pro for iPad. I gotta say, I love playing around in Logic Pro for iPad. It's, it's pretty amazing how well everything works. Just take a quick listen and then we'll pop in the metronome. So maybe I wanna lay down other ideas. Maybe I'm starting from a blank slate. And of course I may want something to play alongside with. So let's pop in the metronome and take a listen again. Now the metronome is pretty customizable just out of the gate. If you just click and hold on the metronome button, a menu will pop up and you can go to metronome settings. As well, if you just go up to file, down to project settings, down to metronome, you'll get the exact same menu. And take a look, you can customize the note value and velocity for each bar, group, beat, and division. You can adjust the tonality, the volume, and even the output for the metronome. But again, we're talking about completely changing the metronome, not just working within what Logic Pro offers you. But I just wanna make that clear. To customize the metronome completely, we need to open the mixer. So I'll press X to open the mixer. And next you'll want to click on the Alt tab here, which allows you to see all channel strips in your project. This view can be quite overwhelming because we're seeing everything in the project, everything within the track stack. I mean, there, there's so much going on here. And taking a look at the left side here, we have a preview channel strip. This is how you're able to preview sounds, for example, in the loop library. So if we just take a quick listen to any of these, Right, so that's one channel strip that lives in your project, but it's out of the way. It's usually not in view because honestly, you don't really need to interact with it. But if we take a look further down here, we have a channel strip for our click. So we take a listen to the project again. Just take a look. The click has its own channel strip as well. And what I find interesting about it is it's an instrument. The software instrument is the Klopfgeist and you can customize this just like in the metronome settings, maybe even more so using the instrument itself. But hey, we don't care for the sound of the Klopfgeist. Well, that's simple. If you click on the right-hand side of the software instrument slot for that plugin, you can choose any other software instrument to live on your click track. A good candidate I think might be the drum synth in Logic Pro. A kick drum might not be the best option, but if we take a look under percussion, if I choose a different sound, such as an 80s cowbell, take a listen. And this has a lot of customizability in terms of tone, harmonic, pitch, you know, whatever you're feeling, check it out. So there's a lot more beyond that. We could choose a shaker. Or taking a look in the other categories such as snare and claps or hats and cymbals. Could choose perhaps a clap.
But I also want to point out to you, if you don't feel like using drum synth, of course, you can use whatever instrument you like. But also, a good candidate might be the quick sampler. Now, if I load this instrument up and open the loop browser, let's take a look for Cowbell. Sounds good to me. Let's drag it in. Now, I probably would turn off loop and I would reduce the length of this considerably. I'm using my magic mouse to zoom in. Well, let's take a listen. Now, do note, if we go into the metronome settings, that the bar is set to G5 and the B is set to C5. You may want to customize this. You may want to set the root key here And you could further customize. Or if we go to the settings here in the quick sampler, we can re-import as original. And once again, I'll turn loop off and let me zoom out so I can cinch this up to right about there. Okay, take a listen. So you have a lot of customizability in terms of the metronome. Also, if you want a dedicated metronome track, for example, maybe instead of referring to the button here, you want to literally program in the exact notes of the metronome. Well, if I just right click on what is now called instrument 26, I'll just double click and call it click again. If you right click on the channel strip or hold control and click, we can create a new track in the tracks area. Okay, if we close the mixer. There's the click track, I'll put it at the top and we can now set the mixer back to just the tracks of my project that I care about. Well, now I could perhaps create a MIDI region. If I open the editor, I'm gonna use the brush tool and set this to 16th notes. And let's just paint across. Okay, take a listen. That's pretty aggressive, so let me just turn that off so we don't have to hear it over and over. Or, you know, to any division that you want. So let's get rid of these further. And you could program further up. Right, so there you have it. You can do whatever you want with your click track. It doesn't have to be this metronome button. It doesn't have to be the Klopfgeist. It can be whatever you want it to be. One thing I would point out though, is whatever you change your click track to, you most likely will want to create a new template. So in this case, I would probably start with a project that doesn't have anything except maybe a couple tracks that I like to start songwriting or mixing with and the click track customized to what I like it to be. Then go to file, down to save as template then save this how I prefer it. So recording metronome. So if you found this video helpful, as always, please subscribe to Wide Logic Pro Rules, the channel and the website, and be sure to check out the description below. I always have links to free templates, guides, PDFs, anything to help you in your journey with Logic Pro. Thanks so much, and I'll see you for more next week. Take care.